Alright, let's fucking do this. Here's a short synopsis of Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. Fearing the actions of Superman are left unchecked, Batman takes on the Man of Steel, while the world wrestles with what kind of a hero it really needs. With Batman and Superman fighting each other, a new threat, Doomsday, is created by Lex Luthor. It's up to Superman and Batman to set aside their differences along with Wonder Woman to stop Lex Luthor and Doomsday from destroying Metropolis. <sighs> Pretty fucking convoluted short synopsis, that one. Uh, here's a quick rewrite. Uh, Batman and Superman react to Lex Luthor. Um, well, two new franchises are set up. Possibly three, because The Flash was involved too. You can tell I'm angry, already being sarcastic and taking the piss. Look, here's, here's what I liked about the film, alright? I, um... I, uh... I... Mm, Ben Affleck was good. Uh, that is that is a big win. High five for Batfleck. Uh, he did well. He pulled it off. He was good. He was solid. I can't go with saying he was great because I wish he had a better script behind him. Then I could say he was great and he was amazing. Uh, he was badass. Although in the moments where he was most badass, should probably credit the stunt double 3D effects, the sound editing on his voice, and the costume designer. But he was good. All right, Batfleck pulled it off. I'm happy with that. I feel like a lot of people are like are like clinging to him as like the saviour of the film. Going, Bam, Ben Affleck was amazing! He was good. With a better script behind him, he would have been amazing. I feel like when I watch this Ben Affleck, Sad Affleck remix, he's kind of thinking the same thing. Well, at least I did my part. Sucks to be involved, but uh, I should try directing again. I did well with Argo, tell stories I care about. I wonder what I'll spend my paycheck on. Sleeping and the vision that was planted in my brain. I also really like the fucking, you know, when the premise occurred, Batman vs Superman for 20 minutes there, solid as fuck. That action sequence was sensational. I enjoyed the costumes, I enjoyed some other visual things, but that's about it. I think the main problem is with character. No character really wants anything or pursues anything with conviction from beginning to end. They all just kind of fucking ping pong around rather gently until Lex Luthor decides to do evil using fucking Kryptonian metamorphosis to whip up a fucking giant troll from the mines of Moria. I mean, let's try to break it down. Bruce Wayne, what does he want? He wants to stop baddies. Uh, he suspects that Superman could be a baddie or attract other baddies, but he kind of pursues this in a half-assed way. He is not our enemy. Not today. What does Superman want? To maybe clear his name with the people, fix his reputation, but he only pursues that in a couple of scenes, saving someone from a fire. What does Lois want? She wants people to like Superman again as well, but she doesn't do anything about it. She just sighs every time she hears that someone doesn't like Superman. It's like, ho oh, hum, doesn't fucking do anything. Wonder Woman wants to kill a troll. <laughs> Lex Luthor probably has the most motivations or wants. He has a couple there. And you will battle him to the death. Fight night. <laughs> Why? Just to do evil, I guess. He's rich. He's a brat. He's got time on his hands. He just thinks it would be a good laugh to do some evil. Or he's insane. I mean, that's how Michael Sarah. I mean, Mark Zuckerberg. I mean, fucking Jesse Eisenberg played it. Was a fucking insane guy. And yeah, he stutters when he talks publicly. That must mean he's evil. Um, really, I, I like fucking Jesse Eisenberg. I think he's a good bloke. I do rate him. But the fucking Lex Luthor character was a joke. It was fucked. With the amount of great villains we have out there where you get to understand their side of the story and sometimes kind of be on their side, this was just paper thin. Fight night. So with the characters having no clear or consistent goals, they can't adequately stir in the rest of the ingredients that go on to make a film successful. Plot, structure, fucking theme. Plot was slow, because the characters are just like, what am I fucking doing today? Uh, structure was disjointed, going between dream sequences, time jumps, and present day. Thematically, what was this film trying to say? What was it about? Ah, oh, there were some ideas, but I can't chalk them up to being themes. For instance, people were scared of Superman. Xenophobia, fear of the other because he was an alien. That could be explored, that could be related to fucking our fear of other countries and things like that. Movies such as District 9 do that really well. 
vigilante justice kind of explored in Batman. He was branding criminals, which was said in the film that that's like giving them a death sentence because they go to prison. Other prisoners go, you must be a pedo, fucking shiv them in the neck. Uh, so Batman was inadvertently an executioner. Uh, not really explored, not as thoroughly as something like fucking Daredevil at the moment. So look, overall, it's just like with the characters being so shitty, it rippled out to affect other elements of the film. I can't really call it Dawn of Justice. It should just be called Dawn of Justice League. It was setting up a trademark more than it was exploring fucking justice. So you wanna be a champion? Welcome to the bonus section. I'm just gonna ping off these fucking additional notes. Why the fuck were characters going back and forth for this Kryptonian Spear of Destiny? Batman was cruising around in his plane while Superman was doing all the work. He reminded me of Lego Batman. He's like, oh, just fucking turn around, I'll do a U-turn. Lois going back and forth with it, almost getting herself drowned. Why the fuck would Batman stop fighting Superman? Because they got the same mother's name. I'm still waiting to hear what Superman was about to propose to him. Because Lex Luthor got Superman riled up. I guess on the flight over there, he had time to think, he calmed down. And he was like, look, Batman, here's what's happening. Bang, 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 bang. If any of you guys have a mother who's named Debbie, I got your fucking back, all right? Oh, <laughs> who is Wonder Woman? Who? That's just what I was thinking when I was watching her towards the end in the third act. She's getting those big hero shots. Like... <laughs> Who are you? Who are you? I wish I knew you. I mean, I personally, I like to know someone before I choose whether or not I'm on their side in a war where they're destroying half a fucking city. That's just me personally. You don't understand Zack Snyder's work. The subtlety, Zack Snyder. Oh, you don't get Zack Snyder's work. So fuck off. This isn't artistic. This film is cliche as fuck. These government officials appear out of nowhere for a scene asking Mr. President what he wants to do. It's military personnel turning a key at the same time. Turn the key. Just send the fucking nuke up. I won't forgive the film because Jeremy Irons as Alfred is fucking cool. Same as every other character. He doesn't do a lot. Go watch John Bernthal in the fucking Daredevil season two as the Punisher. This bloke is amazing. That is genuinely dark and violent. Oh. Jimmy! Shut In terms of bad arsery, Batfleck has nothing on the fucking Punisher at the moment. Good, good, don't get me wrong, Batfleck was very good, very good, but child's play compared to the Punisher right now. Fight night. Batman v Superman has far more shitness than greatness. <sighs> yeah, that's it. Fight.